guys, welcome back to my channel, Sam Lopez TV. I'm Sam Lopez, and on today's episode, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite musicians ever, Harry Styles. I love that man so much. Let's get right into it, guys. So we're going to start off this conversation. We got to mention how Harry Styles got his start. So he got his start on the show X Factor, X Factor UK, and he was ended he ended up being put in a little group called <laughs> one direction and the group went on to have five albums and were all successful and they're iconic they're amazing all of them are great you know harry niall zane liam louie um i love them i'm a big stan <laughs> um so yeah they were successful and all that selling out arenas around the world for a few years then they went to a hiatus well first Zayn left and then they went into a hiatus um check out up all night take me home midnight memories four and made in the am that's their five albums they've released together as a band they're great albums um so the first member that i started crushing on was actually liam but then i saw i saw harry and i always secretly like loved harry because a lot of my friends weren't in love with harry and would like fucking threaten me if I even said he was cute so on the low I would always be you know hairy girl <laughs> hairy girl <laughs> but um yeah I was a hardcore directioner I still am my mother and my family used to think that I was insane because I would wear One Direction bracelets I had all their physical CDs I had t-shirts buttons I would have them cut out of magazines I cut pictures of them like for magazines and put them up on my wall and my binder for school i was a big directioner and now I don't really stand the other boys as much as i stand harry he just stuck to me and yeah <laughs> okay so let's talk about harry's solo music wow so harry has two albums fine line and Harry Styles, self-titled debut album. Great masterpiece, love it, we love it, we stand. Harry Styles, oh my god. So that album is great, it has literally nothing but great songs. I specifically love Woman, I love Sign of the Times, Carolina, Two Ghosts, and Only Angel, and Kiwi. <laughs> I love those songs so much and I actually have so many memories with that album. That album reminds me of one of my good friends, Carla. Shout out to Carla. I miss you, girl. And me and her were always playing One Direction and always playing Harry's first album throughout the summer of 2017. And it just, that album brings back a lot of nostalgia. I was in a better place in my life and that album really means a lot to me. And, you know, thank you to Harry and to all the fantastic musicians that put in the hard work and the love into that album especially harry himself and as for his second record fine line that came out in 2019 another phenomenal record i actually think this record is one of the best records of all time leave me alone stop judging me <laughs> i feel like people are gonna attack me <laughs> i am unapologetic i fucking love him um, wow, Fine Line has so many great songs like Watermelon Sugar, Adore You, Cherry Lights Up, you know, Sunflower Volume 6, Treat People with Kindness. <laughs> oh my god, I said kindness weird. Kindness. <laughs> so many great albums. Well, two great albums. <laughs> and I love the sound that he goes for. He sounds it sounds like a it's like a pop rock sound that he has. And it really suits his voice. When he was first announced to be coming out with a solo album, my friend and I, I'm not gonna say her name because me and that bitch ain't friends, were thinking, oh, he's gonna go like a Justin Timberlake route. Like he's gonna do like a sexy R&B type of thing, or, you know, but I should have done better. <laughs> Harry's sound is great. And, you know, it's just, it's a mix of like, pop rock, psychedelic pop, you know, um, folk. It's a great combination of different genres and 
that's what I appreciate about Harry. I think he's very versatile and he knows what he's doing and his videos for that record, for both of those records are great. You know, I think that they're iconic and he just knows how to, you know, create a fucking album. You know, he knows how to make a video. He knows how to do his thing, you know, and I really love him. <laughs> I sound crazy. Prob I probably do sound a little crazy when I say that I love him, like if I actually know him. <laughs> but um, wow, he's just a phenomenal artist. And so the last thing we're going to talk about in this admiration video slash podcast is going to be about Harry's fashion. Wow, Harry can dress. I absolutely adore and admire his fashion choices. They're very bold. They're very out there. I admire him so much for those choices. I'm the kind of person that before used to be really insecure about what I would wear. But, you know, seeing him just be himself and just dress however he wants has really inspired me to kind of do the same. And, you know, he gave me the courage to really just go for it and just be out there, be who I am, you know? And I really admire his fashion choices. Um, kudos to him. I definitely think that he's thinking outside the box when it comes to fashion. And I admire him for that. But now we're going to talk about Harry's movies. He came out in One Direction, This Is Us in 2013, Dunkirk in 2017, Eternals in 2021, and he's going to be coming out in Don't Worry Darling and My Policeman, which are both slated to release in 2022. So we're not going to talk about One Direction, This Is Us because it's a, do it's a documentary. Oh my God, my stuttering. Um, he was great in Dunkirk. He didn't really have like much lines, but that movie's great. I saw it with my friend Carla opening weekend. I love and miss you, Carla. Um, <laughs> great movie. I love the score. I love the cinematography. Harry looked great. He gave us a great performance. Um, rest of the cast did awesome as well. Um, as for Eternals, oh my gosh. When Harry appeared in the end credit. By the way, spoiler alert. Um, now nah, it's been over a month. If you haven't watched it, you're a fucking dumbass bitch. I don't fucking care. Kiss my ass. Um, when he appeared, I almost screamed in the theater. Literally, I was with my friends. My great, 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 great friends. I love them so much. Chris, Joe Bonnie, and Marty Cruz. And they looked at me like if I was a lunatic. I freaking freaked out in the theater when he appeared. I'm so excited to see what he brings to the MCU in the future. Um, let's hope it's good. <laughs> let's hope it's good. And uh, Don't Worry Darling is going to be a crime thriller, a psychological thriller, I believe. And he's going to be in that film with Florence Pug. I know, I know. Her name is Florence Pugh. I like her. But Florence Pug just sounds hilarious. I'm excited to watch that. And My Policeman. I know that movie's gonna be good because Harry's playing a police officer that is gay and he falls in love with a, another man, I believe. Yeah, he falls in love with another man. <laughs> so excited. I just know it's gonna be good. Harry's gonna get an Oscar. I said what I said. Don't at me. <laughs> I'm excited to see what else he does. Maybe he can do a, a TV show or something in the future. Maybe a few more movies, but. He definitely has a bright future, not only in music, but in film as well. So that's the end of my Harry Styles admiration video slash podcast. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I really like Harry Styles, as you can see, I'm a big fan. And hopefully he can have a long successful career in music and acting and, you know, his support to the LGBTQ community and to just people in general i love it here for it thank you all for listening to this podcast please like subscribe and turn on that notification well well, <laughs> well notification bell <laughs> it's really late right now i'm recording it's 11 p.m at night i'm sleepy um sorry for not posting in a long time i really hope you guys understand Life just keeps kicking my ass, but I'm going to keep fighting. I'm not going to back down. Thank you all for listening. See you soon.